Alright, what's up guys? Perfection here with another tutorial. This time we're going to be in Adobe After Effects. This is a tutorial on how to make Quickster work with a Dazzle. To all those people who think it only works with a PVR, you're wrong, because I got it to work just as good with a Dazzle. Alright, so we're going to start off by going to Composition, New Composition. Just make sure the duration is longer than the clip you're going to import. Mine is so. Alright, we got the HD Composition. Go to Find Your File and Import It drag it on to the composition there you go it's just a clip of me walking turning shooting and reloading it will be in the description in case you want to test it out and the quality might look bad that's because my resolution is only on quarter so i can ram preview it towards the end so it'll be quicker so i'm just going to keep it on that all right for whatever reason make make another composition because you see it's not filled it's not filled it's just empty space right there and this time you're going to want to double your clip, which I already have mine. I have it a little more in case the slow-mo lasts longer. And click OK. And you're going to want to import your Composition 1, not your original Dazzle file. You're actually Composition 1. For whatever reason, you have to. Because then, the clip will take up the whole timeline. And if you move your scrubber along, let's just say a spot. Whoops, that didn't work right. See, it's just black screen, and that's where the Twixter will come in. Alright, so, first things first, click this film roll, enable flame, frame blending, go, make sure your layer is clicked, go to layer, go to time, or frame blending, and check pixel motion. Make sure that's checked, and now we're going to get the Twixter. Go to effect, vision plugins, Twixter 4.5, and... This is where you go back to your project and your original file, it whatever frame rate it is at. Whatever that number is, you're gonna want to put that into Twixter. I render mine at thirty in Sony Vegas because I think it looks better than what I used to do. Alright. So for this tutorial we're only gonna fool around with the speed. You can fool around with the motion blur on your own, but I'm just doing it the simple way. So effects, Twixter, output control, and speed, you're gonna wanna be at the beginning of your clip and check the stopwatch and it will make a keyframe. You're going to want to scroll along with the scrubber to the point where a little bit before you want the slow-mo. Let's see. Oh, too far. Let's see. Go back a few frames. I'll go up one more. All right. Let's see, then right here, those two keyframes are going to be played at normal speed. Move a few keyframes ahead. Try to find the smoothest frame you got right there. I think that's mine. Drop the speed down to whatever you want. I'll put mine at five. And now you're going to want to slowly go along it. And wherever the point you want your slow mo to stop is where you put another, you click that stopwatch, or stopwatch, you click that keyframe button and it'll make another one. So let's see, I just want mine right before it comes out, or right when it's starting to. So right there, I'll just add another keyframe, go forward a few frames. Put the speed back to 100. Alright. So then, that keyframe to that keyframe that's behind it, that's all going to be slow mo. That's going to be your Twixter. Alright. Let's see. See, we have leftover black space, so then you trim the comp to however long it is. So, let me ram preview this up to the keyframe point, which is right there. This might take a little bit. That's why I have it at quarter, so it'll be even faster. Then in Sony Vegas, you're obviously going to have to delete the audio because you can't get the reload, obviously, because it's so much slower. So let me ram preview this. You can sort of see it coming along. It's really slow. Keeps going. Keeps going. Then it will stop and start playing at normal FPS. I'm just going to stop the RAM preview right when it gets to the AK in the normal point of view after the reload. And 
you can slow mo more points of it. Just you gotta make sure you have the two keyframes, which will indicate that's where the slow mo is gonna be and how long it's gonna last. All right, so right there. So I'm gonna play it back slowly. Comes out, throws it, and then it just reloads normally. Then you just delete the audio, or you don't even render with the audio in After Effects, and you add your song or whatever, and you're good to go. So it, I'll do. I'll show you guys it one more time. Slowly starts to come out smoothly, and it might be a little blurry. That's because the re resolution isn't on full for the RAM preview, so it'll be quicker. So yep, basically that's the tutorial. Hope you guys like it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And if anyone ever tells you you can't, just show them this tutorial because you definitely can. Alright, thanks. Peace out, guys. Bye.